Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Barack Obama's step-grandmother Sarah was laid to rest in Kenya on Tuesday, each day after her death at age 99. Photos are released showing relatives and members of the Muslim community carrying Sarah Hussein Obama's body before her internment ceremony at the family's range in Nangoma Kingelo village in Siye County, western Kenya. She was laid to rest next to her husband, Hussein Anyango, around midday civil time under Islamic rites. Malik Obama, the previous president's half-brother, spoke at his grandmother's brief funeral, which was attended by an outsized group of relatives, friends and top officialdom. Foreign Affairs Secretary Rochelle Omamo paid tribute to Sarah Obama on behalf of Kenyan President Aruru Kenyatta, who honoured the deceased as a philanthropist. We celebrate her life as a lady of substance, who was outstanding. She made her home the foremost, welcoming place to everyone who visited, who is said during a statement read by Omamo, because the star reported... Kisumu Governor and Yang Nyong'o asked the government to declare Sarah Obama's home a heritage site. This will be the simplest thanks to recognise and honour her immense contribution to the well-being of humanity, he said. On Monday, former President Obama tweeted, My family and I are mourning the loss of our beloved grandmother, Sarah Aguel and Yango Obama, affectionately known to several as Mama Sarah, but known to us as Danny or Granny. We will miss her dearly, but will celebrate with gratitude her long and memorable life. Sarah Obama gave up the ghost around 4am civil time on Monday while being treated at a hospital in Kusumu, Kenya's third largest city following an undisclosed illness, her daughter Mossat Nyong'o said. Family spokesman Sheikh Musa Ismail confirmed her death wasn't Covid-related. She was the second wife of President Obama's grandfather and helped raise his father, Barack Obama Sr. The family is a component of Kenya's Luo Ethnos. President Obama often showed affection towards his step-grandmother and mentioned her as Granny in his memoir, Dreams from My Father. He described meeting her during his 1988 trip to his father's homeland and their initial awkwardness as they struggled to speak, which developed into a warm bond. She attended his first inauguration as president in 2009. Later, Obama spoke about his grandmother again in his September 2014 speech to the UN General Assembly. For decades, Mama Sarah, as she was known, promoted education for women and orphans in her rural Kugilo village. She raised many in her home. The Mama Sarah Obama Foundation helped provide food and education to children who lost their parents, providing school supplies, uniforms, basic medical needs and a faculty feeds. Her daughter, Anyango, said Monday, She died this morning. We are devastated. Mama was sick with normal diseases. She didn't die of COVID-19, a family spokesman, Sheikh Musa Ismail, said, adding that she'd been tested negative for the disease. He said she had been ill for every week before being taken to the hospital. The death of Mama Sarah may be a big blow to our nation, but I've lost a robust, virtuous woman, a matriarch who held together the Obama family and was an icon of family values, President Aruru Kenyatta said. She'll be remembered for her work to market education to empower orphans, Kasumu Governor and Yang Nyong'o said, while offering his condolences to the people of Kungelo village for losing a matriarch. She was a philanthropist who mobilised funds to pay school fees for the orphans, he said. Already a national celebrity after the previous Illinois senator, Barack Obama, visited Kenya in 2006, Sarah's modest homestead became a tourist attraction with Obama's November 20, 2008 election triumph. Born in 1922 during a village on the shores of Lake Victoria, Sarah was the third wife of Hussein and younger Obama, President Obama's grandfather, a herbalist and a village elder who fought for British in Burma, now called Myanmar. Onyango Obama, who died in 1975, is claimed to be the primary man to swap goatskin clothing for trousers in his village. He swapped from the war in Burma with a gramophone and an image of a woman he claimed to possess married. On his trip back to Kenya as US president, he met together with her among other relations in Nairobi. After leaving office, he travelled to her range in the village of Kigelo in 2018, joking that he had been unable to try to do so in 2015 as his jet was too big to land in Kisumu. In a 2014 interview with AP, Sarah said that whilst an adult, letters would arrive, but she couldn't read them. She said she didn't want her children to be illiterate, so she saw that each one of her family's children visited school. She recalled peddling the president's father six miles to high school on the rear of her bicycle a day from the family's home village of Kigelo to the larger town of Nigia to form, make sure he got the education that she never had. I love education, Sarah Obama said, because children learn they will be self-sufficient, especially girls who too often had no opportunity to travel to high school. If a lady gets an education, she is going to not only educate her family, but educate the whole village, she said. In recognition of her work to support education, she was honoured by the United Nations in 2014, receiving the inaugural Women's Apprenticeship 
Day Education Pioneer Award. Obama is linked to his Kenyan family via his father, Barack Sr., a pipe-smoking economist who Obama had admitted he never truly knew. He met Barack Obama's mother, Anne Dunham, in Hawaii, but he walked out when Obama was just two and died during a car crash in Nairobi in 1982, aged 46. Obama Sr. had worked within the government of Jomo Kenyatta, who led Kenya at independence from Britain until his death 14 years later, in 1978. The two men didn't get on well with Kenyatta, the daddy of Kenya's current president, Aruru Kenyatta, sacking Obama Sr. and blackballing him for further government jobs and ostracisation that might help fuel alcoholism. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.